Welcome to The Dental Brief, the world's direct, right-to-the-point podcast produced to get you the information you need to learn and grow your practice. To learn more about our guests and find links to information discussed on our show, visit our website, dentalbrief.com. On to today's episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Dental Brief. Today, I have with me a guest that's local to us. As many of you know, we're located in Colorado, and today I have with me another Coloradan, uh, Stephanie Bott. Say hello. Hi, thank you so much for having me today. It's a beautiful yeah, we're day glad to have you. you. <laughs> yeah, I think what you do is really fun. I think our audience is uh, going to get a lot from today. Um, so I'm, ex- I'm excited to hear um, from you, um, and I'm sure our audience is too. So Stephanie, um, your area of expertise is posture, correct? And in, in um, ergonomics, correct? Yes. So I, I would say that it's ergonomics. Um, posture is definitely a huge part of that, but there's also so many facets to ergonomics that I uh, talk about and I train about as well. Yeah. So it, you know, I know that dentists never have any type of uh, posture problems. They never have any type <laughs> of aches, pains, soreness, or any inflammation or anything like that. So I'm kind of shocked that you got into <laughs> expertise. Obviously, I'm, I'm kidding me. Besides a huge need um, for what you do and, and a huge need for um, dentists to connect with someone like you, how'd you get into this? How did you start working with dentists? Yeah, so I, it, it's a personal a story. I myself am a dental hygienist. I've been practicing for over 13 years and I started experiencing pain and discomfort and frustration because I couldn't really figure out how to position my patient correctly or how I should be positioned in order to reduce my pain. So I started learning about ergonomics just for myself, and I started incorporating some changes, and I immediately felt the the effects of that as far as having more energy, less fatigue, less pain at the end of the day. And so it's something I wanted to offer to the profession because I know I'm not the only one that struggles with with this kind of thing. So I ended up going back and getting certified in ergonomics. And so now, in addition to practicing clinical hygiene, which I still do two days a week, I um, go into offices and coach anyone on the dental team, dentists, hygienists, assistants, and front office as well on how to practice um, safer. And of course, that includes posture. I do work a lot on posture. So that makes a ton of sense. And I know, so you're, you're a hygienist, mm-hmm. um, you're certified in posture coaching, mm-hmm. um, right, and helping people in this area. But let's, I know this might not be your area of expertise. Um, I know that you're not a psychologist, right? <laughs> I Sometimes I feel like I am with patients. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. But <laughs> clinically, you're not a psychologist. Yes, but correct. This was, so with that being said, posture and, and pain, let's talk about just pain throughout the day or or soreness, uh, maybe not quite pain, um, irritation, inflammation, that can mentally just drain on people, can it? Oh my gosh, it's awful. Yes. And there is a, a direct relationship, a correlation between stress and the, our perception of pain. And so we're in a really stressful profession, especially these days in COVID. And so that can definitely increase stress. But when you are in pain, either practicing or you leave work and you're in pain and maybe not able to engage in activities that you want to because you're in pain, that absolutely has effect on our mental health. And that's something that I, um, that I focus on as well, because I really want people to not only practice healthier and safer, but I want them to have the quality of life that they want. And you can't have that if you're in pain or God forbid, disabled. So let's talk about job satisfaction a little bit. The right now, um, there's you know there was a mass exodus from the dental industry, yep. right? Over the last eighteen months, there's a lot of you know it's let's we can blame anything that we want on it, right? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of probably reasonable um, excuses out there, and a lot of uh, really bad excuses as to why. Um, but let's talk about job satisfaction. If you're comfortable at work, if you're not in pain, job satisfaction has to go up, right? I mean, how can it not? Oh, of course. Yeah. Your productivity goes up, your happiness at work goes up, your, and, you know, we all know working in a smaller environment, which a lot of dental offices are, if you're off, you kind of, you affect the entire team. And so um, if you're practicing healthier and with less pain, it absolutely has an effect on, on how you feel about your job. I know when I was 
in quite a bit of pain. It was very hard to have job satisfaction or be even passionate about what I was doing because I knew my job was causing my pain and I almost got like resentful towards it, if that makes sense. Yep. So I'm assuming, um, I'm assuming that this is um, something that uh, the whole team should be involved in, right? Not just the dentist or, or the yeah. Dentist, right? Yes. So I, what, one of my favorite things to do is to have the entire office enrolled in this ergonomic program because we're all getting trained together. We're learning things together. And then the team members can hold each other accountable mm -hmm. as far as like doing stretching or maintaining proper posture. So I really like it to be a team effort. Sure. So, I mean, that makes total sense. The accountability part, hey, you're doing this or hey, you're doing that again or hey, you're not doing this. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. So the time for somebody to call you, I have to assume is when they're in a tremendous amount of pain, right? Yes. A, a lot yeah. of practitioners do reach out to me when they're already in pain. Um, and not that it's too late at that point, but it's difficult to get back to health once you're in that kind of pain without some kind of professional help, you know, like PT or a chiropractor or whatever. So I really like to educate on the on the fact of being preventive. And even if you're not having pain yet, this is the perfect time to start incorporating ergonomics because the right. pain and disability rates, you know, in dentistry yeah. are crazy high right. and the odds are unfortunately stacked against us. And so the ease or the earlier we start incorporating these ergonomic changes, the better. Yep. Makes perfect sense to me. I mean, we see, we see um, in so many practices and, and so many practice owners uh, relate things that they do with their team to sports. And, you know, every, every you never go to a game without seeing people stretching yep. um, at the beginning of the game. So let's talk about stretching a little bit. And actually, let me, uh, you take it from here. Tell me, what are three things um, besides uh, calling you um, that a practice can implement today? What are three maybe exercises or three um, habits to get into? What are, what are three things they can start right, right now? Yeah, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. So I am big on stretching. I used to think stretching was optional. And for us in dentistry, it really isn't if we want to maintain health. So what I really preach on is something called micro breaks. And they're really quick 20 to 30 second little stretch breaks every 20 minutes or so. It's where you set your drill down, your instruments down, and then stretch an area that you're feeling fatigue. And it really doesn't take that long, you know, 20 to 30 seconds. But doing that really helps reintroduce blood flow into that particular muscle and starts healing the damage that we cause when we're holding these really awkward positions. So I really preach on that. The trapezius muscle is a very important muscle to stretch out for us. It's the most overused muscle in dental practitioners. And having tight traps actually leads to something called trapezius myalgia, which has all kinds of um, other effects in the back and like headaches and migraines and all that. So it's a very important muscle to stretch out. Another tip I like to talk to people about is correct patient positioning. And I know that this is a challenge for us, especially if we have a difficult patient, but it's so important to get the mouth where we in the correct ergonomic position. And really that is about elbow level for us when our elbows are like bent at 90 degrees at our sides. So typically it's much lower. The mouth is much lower than what we're comfortable with, but really it's a much more comfortable way to practice when we get the mouth at that level. Yep. Makes total sense to me. So Stephanie, do you just mostly work with practices in Colorado or do you work nationally? Yeah. So I do virtual as well. I'm trying to make it accessible for everyone. Um, ideally it is better if I can go in live and coach people. It's just, it's a better learning experience that way. But virtual is becoming, especially since COVID, I feel like we're all getting used to it, but it's definitely a good option for when I'm not able to go into the practice. Makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, Stephanie, I want to encourage our uh, audience to check out your website. It's posturepros.net. Yes. Um, I want to encourage them to reach out to you, um, at least for a consultation. I think what you're doing um, uh, is awesome. I'm well, so thank you. Here. Yeah, I'm, I, I feel like most of us in dentistry haven't been provided with at least the basic foundation of ergonomics and how to keep our bodies safe. Because when we're in school, we're just focusing on, you know, getting through the practicums and passing our boards, which 
ergonomics isn't on the boards, unfortunately. So um, I think we all need a little TLC when it comes to this. Yeah, makes sense. Stephanie, again, our audience, Stephanie um, at posturepros.net is the email. Website is posturepros.net. Stephanie, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. And I think what you're doing is great too. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, you too. Thank you for joining us on today's episode. Did you know you can weigh in on today's topic on Facebook? Search The Dental Brief on Facebook or visit our website, dentalbrief.com, and just follow the link. We look forward to having you join us again on another episode of The Dental Brief.